I tried your terrible openings, including the Sigma King walk, the Magnus Carlsen opening, and even the Ball Gambit. Not only did I try terrible openings, but I also witnessed hilarious 100 ELO chests. For the first opening, I decided to start off nice and slow with the Gotham chest special. I have to develop the knight and then move it back to its home square 8 times. Basically, I'm giving my opponent 8 free moves to develop it. But, of course, since my opponent is 160 ELO, he had to ruin the challenge immediately. What am I supposed- what? I can't take that! What is this garbage? Oh my gosh, I can't even- Okay, now I can't take because I did it for 8 moves. But what was that? Legit, why did he sacrifice his queen? What is this? What even is this? Brother, ugh. My opponent decided to continue to play like an 100 elo player and moved his king to the center of the board where I checkmated him. Next, I played the Magnus Troll opening where your king and queen both go for a hike. Except my opponent also seemed to be doing a challenge. This is not going to be great. What is this guy playing? What? Oh my gosh. Oh. Arr. <laughs> what, what, what is this game? What? Wait, wait, wait. If he gets this, he will have achieved the ultimate. This should be an achievement on chess.com. The game went fairly smoothly after that, but I did miss some easy tactics. He pushed his king to the center of the board, allowing my pawn to capture both of his knights. After that, we moved our pieces around and traded them before I eventually won on time. Next is the pawn push gambit. Basically, I have to move all my pawns forward two squares no matter what. Originally, I was supposed to move the pawn forward only one square, but I felt that was too easy, so I changed it to two squares, but that proved to be a lot harder than I thought. I kept failing and failing until this game here. Maybe we need to play strategically, like match him. You know what I'm saying? Not that one. Okay, that one. That one would also have been a good one to do. That one's also a good one to do. And that one's a good one to do. And that one. Okay, we did it. My opponent then proceeded to blunder his queen. After that, I traded pieces until I got to a rook end game. I traded both rooks and promoted to a queen, and then promoted again to another queen, and checkmated him. Before I show you the rest of these funny, <coughs> sorry, terrible openings, I just want to say thank you to all of you who commented and actually made this video possible. And if you're enjoying the video, I'd appreciate if you would like and subscribe. Back to the most hilarious chess game I've ever played. Basically, my king had to cross to the other side of the board and not be checkmated. I don't even know what happened. If Levy saw this, he would actually vomit. We're going to get this king all the way to the other side. We're going to get it onto probably here because we can't go this way, but... We're going to get the king all the way to the other side of the board. Bam. That's not checkmate. Let's go. He, at first, that queen, was, that queen was just a checkmate. That's just checkmate. That's just a pawn checkmate, dude. This might be a little hard. I can... Ca oh, I forgot I have my bishop. That's not checkmate. That's crazy. I legitimately don't know how that's not checkmate. That's... Ch Bro, how is this not checkmate? No. Don't tell me I go all the way back. Don't tell me I go all the way back. No. That would be crazy if I went. No, that's crazy. That's crazy. Please say it. Please say it. Please say I go all the way back. No, that's so sad. I feel so bad for the guy. He had mate in one. He literally had mate in one. Bro, what am I supposed to do? I have to go back because he just captures. He, I just lose that pawn. After that, I just developed my pieces and tried to push my opponent backwards. After forcing his bishop backwards, we traded and I just eventually just won on time. Next is the baby gambit, which is characterized by a4, b3, and c4. Baby gambit. a4, e5. Please don't be weird. Don't be weird. Just play e5. That's the most... b3, e5 now. c4, d takes c4. That is the baby gambit, but he declines the baby gambit. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is revolutionary. This is new theory that's coming out. This game was relatively quiet with the center of the board being completely locked. Of course, I ended up winning on time. Now, before I show you the ball gambit, some guy commented and said exchange French, which I thought was actually hilarious. So here's a quick game of the exchange French. This is the weirdest opening I've ever played. Um, this is what the main line is supposed to look like. In the game, it actually took me a bit longer to complete the package, so to speak, and I ended up losing a bishop before I finished. The guy who created this is this guy here. This channel will be linked in the description below. As usual, I won on time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this video here where I played with the weirdest chess pieces ever.